Alright, uh, I'm back now. Uh, okay, we're all uh, healed up and stuff. Alright, so I did check on the uh, Bulbapedia there. Uh, apparently, uh, Haze is not poison type, it's an ice type attack. I guess I was uh, confusing it for smog. Uh, and it, uh, it cures, uh, not, not status ailments, but, uh, buffs and debuffs and stuff. It resets all that, uh, so yeah, I don't think I'll be using it. I guess maybe it's useful in, uh, you know, multiplayer, uh, whatever, but, uh, uh in the single player, just damage is what you want to do. Also, uh, I also looked up, apparently Rock Throw has a 65% uh, accuracy, which is uh, much uh, higher than it seems to be. I was expecting like 20%. Rap is just, uh, I don't know, horribly broken. Oh, another one of these. Uh, okay. I think I will skip her for a bit, uh, try and get to the next patch of long grass. Uh, once I do, uh, maybe catch something else. I don't know, it'd be good if there was a water type in the uh, long grass. Yeah, I did kill that guy's Doug Trio, no problem. Right, he's not part steel yet, so that makes him uh, more killable. Well, I really hope this doesn't end up being just, uh, dying after every single fight. And the Sonic Boom was, uh, tough in the beginning. Okay, it's a low level. 
Yeah, the whole, uh, I think the randomizer should probably count, uh, like, uh, Metapod and Kukuna as, like, first stage evolutions for, uh, switching out. Oh, good, she evolved. I didn't accidentally hit B there. Uh, I remember one time, uh, one of my friends and I were playing Pokemon, you know, just hanging out, playing Pokemon all day. And, uh, I don't know, one of his Pokemon, uh, uh, we were both, like, starting a new game and seeing, like, who could get furthest, uh, quickest. And, uh, I think it was, like, Charmander or whatever was evolving. Uh, so I, like, ran over and hit B and cancelled it. And then, uh, I kept doing that, like, every time, and he just got, like, super pissed. Uh, it's kind of funny. Oh, a pincer or something would be cool. Oh, there's a Nidoran male. Uh, let's see. I've already got a Nidoran email, and I got a... Like, I would catch it, but... I've got enough uh, poison and ground types, so... Puff. Uh, I've done run through, I've used Jigglypuff uh, often enough because you can catch them up in Mount Moon and stuff normally, so uh, I've used them in run throughs plenty of times. Same with Clefairy. Just gonna see you know, if there's any other Pokemon. Alright, so it looks like it's uh, Nidorans and. Uh, Fairies here. I thought there there's typically a few more Pokemon types uh, available there. Ooh, a primate. That's uh... okay. Uh, it must be must be up over here then. Like, there is typically, uh, I think Spearows and, uh, Mankeys or something, uh, and a couple others, so, okay, Pidgeys, ah. Alright, that must be all the Pokemon. I was expect I was hoping there might be, like, you know, one or two other, uh, Pokemon types there. I can see what the uh, fish dude is selling. Uh, I guess I'll buy him. I okay, it's a Dodrio. I guess it didn't replace that text. <coughs> All right. Um, uh, I guess I'll, uh, might as well keep with him. Uh, it was nice that it was something, uh, a bit different anyways, and it wasn't just like a, you know, a Magikarp, or, well, not a Magikarp, but, uh, you know, a Weedle or something. I'm just gonna go back here and do these fights. Geodude, uh, I think he evolves at 26. Oh, she's got an Articuno. Uh, Alright, it's got Peck and Ice Beam. Self-destruct is kind of useful there. Uh, 
Yeah, I don't think I've ever used a Dodrio before, because I know they're normally uh, somewhat later in the game. Uh, oh, beat her already, I guess. Uh, I guess it's just uh, this guy down here. Nine tails. Alright, I guess that's uh, it for that area. Uh, on to the cave. It would be nice not being just Zubats and stuff in here. Alright, a Diglett. That's uh... Fits the area anyways. Uh, I'm not gonna catch it, but uh... I don't think Dodrio will be able to run away from it, so I might as well just uh, kill it. Do that. Yeah, see I keep fast forwarding just kind of naturally because this, like, the game is just kind of so slow otherwise. Uh, so what's this? Body slam. Alright, that's uh... Okay, can't use it. I would have taught that to someone, but uh, I guess I can't. Max Potion. Yeah, see, things like the randomizer and stuff, that's something that, you know, the... I don't know, I, I can't see them implementing that, but some more kind of like special modes would be nice. Uh, like a, a New Game Plus, I think, is something that they should probably uh, implement sometime. Uh, just have it where you uh, start the game over, uh, all your items and your Pokemon get put in like a vault or something that you unlock again once you beat the Elite Four. Uh, but you can keep any uh, Pokemon that say are like level 5 or lower, or eggs. Uh, and you can choose, uh, like say you unlock them after you get like the first badge or something, and you get to choose one of them as like your starter Pokemon. Uh, like, even doing something like that would be, you know, it would make uh, replaying them a lot more fun. Uh, and it would allow you to replay them without, like, losing all your Pokémon, because they still only have one uh, save slot per uh, game. Although I guess now on the Switch you can at least make uh, new profiles. Should, uh, should be leveling up these guys. Yeah, that's the problem. I always end up having like that one Pokemon that's just, you know, uh, they just kind of stay behind and they never get really strong and you're always kind of uh, having to level them up separately. Alright, uh, somebody got poisoned there. Which would be annoying. So I guess, uh, I don't know when I'm going to end up getting a Moonstone now, because uh, the items are all randomized too, so it may be a while before uh, Nidorino uh, can evolve. Alright, uh, okay. I uh, didn't think he would have any uh, Water-type attacks yet, because I know uh, they're not... Like, he is a Water-type beast. I thought he was mostly, like, physical. Uh, who has poison? Die again. 
right, I was hoping for more TMs. Those are kind of the more fun uh, items. Actually, that would be an interesting idea for a hack. Have it where uh, all items you pick up are TMs with uh, random attacks. Uh, but have the Pokemon hat to not learn any attacks otherwise. Like, everybody just gets, like, Scratch or whatever, and they don't learn any more leveling up, but every item you find is a TM with a random move. That would be kind of fun. Alright, this guy's gonna kill us. Or not. Said, uh, I can just gonna hurt him a bit, anyways. Okay, I uh, actually did that. Uh, next guy is gonna do us in, though. There's no way. try and get every item because uh, you know they're all swapped around randomly and so it, there could be something uh, really useful in here okay I'm all chop uh, I don't think I'll get one of them I have used one of them in a playthrough before Despite uh, the bother of having to uh, trade them. Uh, I've used a Cedra before too. I want to hopefully get a uh, Moonstone or some good PMs. Oh, Wild Bulbasaur. Uh, I've used... Uh, yeah, I don't need that. It feels really weird just being like running away from a Wild Bulbasaur because... Uh, you know, they're so, you know, in the games that you can find them in the wild or whatever, oh, and a Charmander too. Uh, and another one. Like, they're so rare, it's just like that feeling like, oh, I, I gotta catch that, but uh, I wouldn't want to use it because I've used one of them, you know, tons of times before. I'm always uh, you know, picking a different starter uh, every time I go through, and I usually do use the starters. Uh, I think the only time I didn't was Moon, because uh, the starters in that are just all so ugly. Uh, I like immediately boxed it and uh, just picked some other Pokemon. Uh, and there were a couple times when the Pokemon that I did choose ended up like evolving into something hideous and I had to get rid of it. Because, <laughs> you know, usually I just use whatever is cool looking. Voltorb, that's, uh, you won't have any uh, electric type attacks anyways yet. Oh good, another TM. Let's see what's in here. Amnesia. Another one that's not really useful.
Yeah, it feels so weird running away from the uh, starter Pokemon there, but uh, uh, Jolteon, Geodude can take him. Yeah, and like having the random items, it makes it, you know, much more interesting to actually pick up the items. So like something like that would be cool for them to do, but yeah, I just can't see them ever doing it. Like they're they're barely even making the like the normal game the base game interesting now. They're certainly not gonna be adding that kind of stuff. I wish I knew where all like the hidden items were, just like on the ground. Uh, I don't know if I'm gonna beat him or not. Uh, he'll probably one-shot Geo, dude. Uh, but he doesn't. There we go. Uh, no experience. I probably should have. I guess if I had to switch from Venonat, he would have. Uh, killed Geodude before he could self-destruct. Uh, do I have any revives? Nope. Yeah, this is a bother. I'm gonna have to go through here again. Fast-forwarding, it doesn't take very long. Oh, shouldn't have gone down there. Uh, I have used Vulpix before. Because uh, again, you can get them fairly early sometimes. I think it's... Uh, uh, Misty's around, just after Misty's area, you can catch them, so I use them. Yeah, and being able to use the Pokemon that you normally only get later in the game is pretty fun. Ultras. Uh, you can take him. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see uh, what Pokémon is in the fossil. Be nice if it showed it here. I guess I'll just uh, get whatever one. Doesn't really matter. Uh, I won't be probably using whatever Pokemon it is, anyways, because I'll I should have a full team by that point. Uh, I thought there was an item in here. It's not. Hmm. Ah, TM, good. Let's see what it is. 
uh, mirror, mirror, other kind of useless one. I'm really hoping for like, uh, you know, something, you know, fire blast or ice beam or something like that. Oh, ditto. Uh, I've never really played through with a ditto before, but they just don't seem uh, that fun. Would be kind of tedious. Krabby. Uh, never really played through with a Krabby before. I might. I don't know if I'll use it, but I'll catch it anyways. Just to. Yeah, I really want to get a Slowpoke if there is one. But, uh... Or something else cool. Okay, it looks like this is just Ditto's Pidgeys and Krabbies. There's an item out here. Another nugget. Alright, I got lots and lots of nuggets. Uh, I guess that'll be good for when I get to uh, Celadon, I believe it is. Because uh, they should still be selling, I think the store inventory doesn't get randomly changed, so he'll be selling uh, lots of TMs there, but they'll all be random, so I'll, I don't think it'll tell me what they are. I'll probably have to buy them individually. Alright, yeah, so now that I've got a larger variety of Pokemon that actually have uh, their type attacks, uh, it's going a bit easier now. Get the experience brackens. No, he had a goal bat before. Uh, okay, so yeah, it's kind of disappointing that it swaps his whole team every time. Uh, except he still got the Kakuna. That's nice. Uh, I would have thought he'd have uh, B drill by now, but. Uh, maybe it's... it might have swapped him for another, like, second stage one, whatever, so he won't have Beedrill until he would have had, uh, like, Charizard. Geodude should be evolving uh, in the next level or two. Uh, speak of the devil. Uh, should still be stronger than him anyways. Yeah, so like, this is how fast the game should be, basically. You should just be able to go through as quick as you can go.
Like, if I was playing on Game Boy, I'd still probably be fighting Brock right now. Back to Geodude. I wonder if I'll get to the end of the bridge before I uh, run out of Pokemon. Uh, Wigglytuff is uh, pretty tough, actually. I think he'll probably have uh, too many water attacks yet. Okay. Two more fights. Ah, it's another Haunter. Well, at least I got uh, Peck now, too. Oh, I wonder what I'll get instead of a Nugget. I'll sacrifice Krabby. And then that will let me uh, change to uh, someone without uh, suffering the first strike from changing. Okay, uh, Ekans maybe. Oh. Uh, Dodrio maybe faster. I wasn't, but he still, uh, still got to attack. Tails would be no problem. Yes. Now, did he give me a nugget? I kill him three. No. I, I guess he gave me another a nugget. Maybe. Yeah. Maybe that doesn't. Uh, Swap that around because it's uh, not really like picking up an item. And there's probably uh, items around in houses or something that I don't normally pick up because they're, uh, you know, they're just potions or whatever. But uh, it would be a good idea to find them now. So what's this? Smog. Okay, see, that's what I was expecting before. Wait, I did have a uh, body slam, I think. Somebody maybe able to. No? Alright, I thought uh, maybe now Nidorina or Graveler could use it. Oh, I'm drinking. Uh, Coke here with uh, cinnamon uh, syrup in it. Oh, that's really good. Uh, what should I? Krabby had bubble, but I'm just not sure if I want to use Krabby or not. So. I don't think I've got anything else that's good against rock. Rio. Nope, uh, I guess it's up to Graveler now. A uh, Q-Bone. Uh, I have used the Q-Bone before. Uh, because again, you can get them, well, you get them in Lavender Town, uh, which is it's not that late in the game, I guess. Uh, yeah. Kind of anything around, kind of before Labrador Town, I've probably used because uh, you know I do like to go through most of the game, game with six Pokemon. There's gonna be any more here. I 
Okay, uh, I guess that's it. There's no, uh... There are a lot of Pokemon here. Oh, star you. Okay, uh, I may get a star you. I don't think I've really used one of them before. Growlithe. You can catch them by uh, near uh, Celadon. So. Okay, the star you don't let us go. It wants to die. Yeah, there are lots of different wild Pokemon in this area, so uh, should be able to find some interesting ones. not know that was a thing. Oh, well, I guess I'm, uh, tossing some, uh, TMs. I want to keep that. Somebody will be able to use that eventually. Somebody should be able to use Spawn eventually. Uh, I guess I should just, I could just use the calciums and stuff, uh, might as well boost, uh, Nidorina. Oh, I did get a Moonstone at some point, I didn't notice that, okay. Hey, Nidorina. I just remembered about the, uh, the Pokemon card game. Uh, I didn't play it much uh, like with the actual cards, but I did get the uh, Pokemon card game on uh, Game Boy. Uh, I played that quite a bit. Uh, it's still not, uh, you know, terribly high strategy or anything, but. Uh, you know, it does, it, at least it's a bit more like an RPG kind of then, because you start off with just bad cards and then you can, uh, as you go through, you uh, get kind of uh, better cards and eventually kind of a full deck with, you know, three stage evolutions and stuff like that. Uh, and then I did during, uh, I think it was during college, I played through the Pokemon card game 2. Uh, it's Japan exclusive, I don't think it was ever released here, but there is, I think there's a, I played it in Japanese, but there is a, uh, a patch, I would guess, for it. Uh, the first card game, if I recall correctly, only does like the first uh, one or two sets of cards, uh, but then the, the next uh, Pokemon card game 2 does like the next few. Uh, uh, sets or whatever they're called. Uh, I don't think it goes to Gen 2 yet. Uh, I'm not 100% sure about that. It would make sense if it did, but for some reason I don't think it did. It was just Gen 1 still, but it was, uh, you know, more of the uh, card sets anyways.
Uh, so yeah, they were pretty fun. Oh, a game kind of similar to that that came out uh, around when Pokemon was in like the height of its popularity was uh, Magi Nation. Uh, I found that was a much better card game. Uh, oh yeah, there was... Uh, I still... I think I'm going to deposit Krabby, but... Uh, I don't know if I want to use Staryu yet. I'm still holding out for like a Slowpoke or something cooler. I, I think I may have used a Staryu at one point, because you can, I think, normally get them somewhat early. Oh, uh, part ground now. Uh, but yeah, Magi Nation, that was... Uh, I found that card game was so much better than Pokemon. Uh, it just, it fixes so many things that uh, I don't like about the Pokemon card game, and a lot of other collectible card games. Uh, it's just such a shame it never, like, really took off, like, nobody knew about it, and uh, I think, you know, it ended up dying after just a couple of years, uh, and then got sold to, uh, it was Cookie Jar, it was some, like, kids' uh, TV show making company. Uh, they bought the rights to it, and they just, uh, they made, like, a really bad cartoon, and then they kind of, like, re-released some of the cards in, like, a really horrible style, and then they, uh, then they killed it. They haven't done anything with it, uh, which that's, I don't know, that's a game I may want to go through sometime, like, in a Let's Play. Uh, there is actually... There's the Game Boy Color game. Oh, go to TM. Uh, HC. Alright, that's, uh... Oh, anyone can use it. How is... Hmm. I wonder what it's doing for TMs, because I don't think... I don't remember if Leech Seed is normally a TM. Like, I think it's just putting in any, uh moves, but if it's not normally a TM, I don't know how it would know who can use it, or if it's just saying, like, okay, anyone can use it. Uh, but yeah, Leash Seed, that would be very useful. Uh, I'm just gonna hang on to that for a bit and think about who it should go to. Uh, it should probably be a really tanky guy gets it, I guess. Uh, no, he's gonna get burned. But yeah, the uh, Game Boy Magi Nation was really cool. Uh, it, it had it was like nothing to do with the card game. Well, like it was the same characters and stuff, but it wasn't like a, a card game game. It was like an RPG, like Pokemon. Uh, but yeah, it was really good, uh, and I you know, I love the card game. I never played it in person because like nobody else knew it. But uh, there were some uh, online services where uh, you you know, virtual tabletop kind of things that you could play it with. Uh, and so I played that for a bit on there. Uh, so yeah, I think, yeah, I may do just an episode or a, I don't know, a let's play through of that, or, uh, I don't know if I'd play through the whole game, but, uh, just playing it for a bit would be good. Let's talk about it. Yeah, see, like, even... Like, I did this when I was a kid, but, and, you know, it didn't bother me that, okay, I could go up and do Bill first, or I could go to the gym, and then once you do, like, uh, beat Bill, you, or save Bill, you can go through here and, like, escape over there. Like, you don't, uh, you don't need to do the...
uh, you don't need to do the gym before you move on. Like, you do eventually have to come back, but, because uh, I think you need the gym to learn cut or whatever, but, uh, I know, it didn't force you to do it right then. Uh, and then, you know, once you learn cut, you can take that side, uh, cut and I think surf, you can do that side area where you get, uh, to the electrical plant. Hmm, rock water, that's a, uh, tough typing for my party right now. Dodrio may make it. Just barely. Yeah, see, I just wanted to do that to get the TM, because I knew he would give me a TM, but it will be... Okay, Karate Chop. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's randomly assigning uh, availability of non-TM uh, moves, because Ekans should not be able to learn Karate Chop. But, uh... That's just, uh... I don't know, too funny. I gotta do that. They stole a TM for teaching Pokemon how to Karate Chop. <laughs> oh yeah, see, I, I thought he had said that, but I, I didn't think it would change the uh, dialogue text. Yeah, see, I wish I knew, like, who actually gives... Because I'm pretty sure there are guys who just give you items and stuff. But I don't normally do it because I don't... You know, they're not usually not important stuff. But they could be important now. Pals. now. Uh, it would be nice if they kept the gyms the same, so that you could kind of, or at least it gave every gym member the same typing, like if this was all like fire. Uh, I guess Graveler will do. Kingler. Uh, Venonat maybe. God, dude. Wow, Venonat still doesn't have, uh, anything? See, I, I don't think I've, like I said, I haven't used a Venonat before, and I would have thought it would have learned something by now. Like... At least she shouldn't have a pretty strong team. I think she's got like two Pokemon. Okay, Starmie. She, yeah, she normally starts with a Star U, I thought. But, uh. Anyways, isn't that different? They're not particularly uh, strong offensive types, so... Alright, there we go. Stun Spore. Uh, I guess that's... Uh, Yeah, 
Yeah, it's just randomly assigning it, I think. Uh, I might as well teach Venonat. And Leech Seed should go to... I think Ekans. Because uh, he's got Wrap. And plus being a Poison type, he's fairly... tanky. Uh, you know, like... Graveler is weak. Graveler being a rock type is rock and ground is weak against like everything. Uh, but uh, Ekans should be pretty resilient to just about everything. Yeah. See, I wish instead of having these, they had just like uh, if this was like just an encounter with like a strong Pokemon, like a. You know, if this was, a, say, a level 35 pseudo Wudo, um, you know, if they were in this gen, I think that would be, you know, much more... And you could just go up and you fight them, and then uh, that's it. And then, you know, if you can get through and beat them, then you can go, out, go ahead there before you're normally able to. Seeing the Charmanders, it's just like, oh, I just want to catch them all and make like a team of Charmanders, but, uh, not doing that. Onyx? Uh, I've used Onyx before, I think. So I think you can usually catch them there in Mount Moon. Pretty sure I've done that. Uh, plus I think, I think I used one of them in Let's Go. Uh, just for like the ridiculousness of the size, because uh, I don't know if you've seen them in Let's Go, but they uh, all the Pokemon when they follow you and that are like two scale. So well, Onyx is just ginormous; like its head sticks up off the edge of the screen. Yeah, that's like another thing. Like why, you know, they they add the Pokemon following you for Let's Go, and it's so cool. And then they get rid of it for Sword and Shield, and like they're just constantly doing that. It's like if you're gonna be making the same game over and over again every year, like improve on it, add like the new stuff instead of just they add one thing and then they take it away, and then they add some function that nobody wants, and then you know then it's gone, and then they add something that everybody likes, and then it's gone. And, I know, they're just... I, th I think it's pretty obvious that they're just... Uh, they don't really care about the games that much. It's The games are advertising for the cards and the uh, show and all that. Uh, so they're just pumping them out. Uh, they, you know, they probably won't stop, uh, or they won't start making them like really good until... I don't know, if Pokemon ever starts dying, then they might... Any reason to use that? Yeah, he's just for levels now. Uh, so... Oh yeah, and it swaps all the trades. At least it tells you what they what they need and they want. Uh, I've used it, Mr. Mime, before. I'll just go through this line. I won't do. I, I know there is lots of uh, hidden items in here. I th well, I think there's like at least two or three. I thought there was. Anyways, I didn't find any. Yeah. All right. I'll guess. I'll do each line. Oh yeah, uh, it's one thing I just noticed kind of recently when I was thinking about like the different Pokemon. Uh, the Pokemon in the first gen, at least, I, I don't really play the other gens enough to really know, or you don't know if this holds for them. But uh, 
they really I like how they really fit the the world. Like if you just look at all the Pokemon on like a a poster or whatever, it's you know, they don't really uh, uh, I don't know how to explain it. They don't come through as being as like cohesively designed or, or some of them don't seem as well designed. Like you see like, oh, there's Seal and Krabby and Tentacool and so oh, they're they're just animals with uh, you know, a bit different uh, and people say like, oh, Voltorb's just a Pokeball or whatever, but, uh, you know, and then there's the bizarre Pokemon like Lickitung and uh, Mr. Mime and Jinx and stuff. Uh, but if you actually look at them, how they are in like the game, they all fit really well. Like it's pretty obvious that they were, uh, in Gen 1 at least, they were really, uh, designing the Pokemon for the world. Because uh, you've got, uh, like, I guess starting at the beginning, you've got your three starter Pokemon who are uh, a lizard, a turtle, and a frog. Uh, which are, you know, the whole thing is about, it was, you know, about uh, kids finding and collecting bugs and stuff, that's what it was uh, kind of designed off of. And you know, when you were a kid, you know, you could find spiders and crickets and whatever, and it was okay, those are cool, but, uh, you know, when you found, like, if you found a frog or something, that was just cool, like, that was crazy, it was like, wow, this is so much cooler than those bugs. Uh, so like, the, the starter Pokemon are, you know, that's what they are, they're like, be really cool, like, okay, there, there's still things you can find out around your house, but they're, you know, they're so much cooler than just, like, the bugs and rats and stuff that you would, I guess, you know, most people don't find rats running around, but, uh, you know, they're just so much cooler than that, so you get them, uh, and then, uh, they, so they evolve at, like, level 16 or so, uh, so typically that'll be, you know, around Mount Moon or just ready to fight Misty, so that's about the time when, you know, you're kind of getting into things, you understand what's going on, uh, you know, okay, this is how leveling up works, and, alright, oh, yes, Slowpoke. Uh, so, you know, they level up, they evolve at level 16, which is around when you're getting into things and you're kind of, you know, it's, okay, you've learned the mechanics, uh, so now let's see what else happens, you know, okay, here's evolution, they're going to be, they're probably going to be one of your first Pokemon to evolve, unless you've got, uh, like a Weedle or whatever. Uh, and they evolve into kind of, you know, they evolve at level 16 into not a hugely different Pokemon. Like, they're not, uh, you know, they're just kind of a little bit different. They're a bit bigger, a bit sharper, or whatever. Uh, so it's kind of like, I don't know, they're like the teenage version of the Pokemon. They're just a little bit better. Uh, which makes it then that much cooler when you get their final form. Like you know, towards like the 6th or 7th uh, uh, gym, you know, when you're into the home stretch, you're really like, okay, this is it, uh, I'm really getting it now, and then your, your starter evolves into like this really awesome uh, final form. And then there's, you know, uh, there's also this, all the bugs and stuff, the bugs and the mice and rats and stuff that you encounter near the beginning, which are, you know, other just animals you would find around your house, so they're not, uh, that interesting, uh, you know, Weedle and Caterpie and stuff, uh, but again, that kind of makes it, you know, it fits into more, like, the theme there that you've got, uh, you know, you're a kid going around, and so it's like these are the actual bugs that you would find around your real house when you're a kid. Uh, and he, you know, here they are in the game. So I think that kind of really anchors it more. Uh, you know, if you play like 
Digimon or whatever other games, and, uh, you know, none of them are really based off of, or most of them aren't really based off of, like, just an animal that could actually exist. Uh, so it, I, you know, I think it really, it, uh, you know, it, it doesn't have as much of a connection. It, it really makes it, having all the Pokemon that are, uh, just normal animals, I think really anchors it as being like, you know, you're in the world of Pokemon. You know, and then once you get a bit farther in the game, you start finding, you know, foxes and dogs and wolves and, uh, big snakes and stuff like that. That, you know, those are also, you know, animals that exist, uh, seals and crabs and stuff like that. They're, you know, they're real animals, but you don't typically see them in your day-to-day. -day. Like, you see them at the zoo, or maybe you occasionally see them, uh, you know, if you're driving, you're like, oh, wow, there goes a fox or whatever. So it's, you know, it's nice that then you, you know, you find them, uh, you know, a bit later in the game, and they're still, they're still real animals, but they're, you know, it, it kind of matches the kind of progression of rarity that you would see in the real world. Uh, I guess this is gonna give me something other than a Magikarp. So does this, uh... I'm just gonna be fishing up metapods, I guess? Yes. Okay. Huh. Uh, okay, I wonder if, uh... That's different for every area? Okay. Yeah, so I wonder if every single area he's just gonna fish up metapods. I can go back and get the bike sometime. What's he want? Banky, the Vulpix. Yeah, see, even swapping the trades around every time you go through the game would be interesting. Or like the Pokemon that you can buy at the game corner, or stuff like that. Like, there's so many cool little things they can do like that. Uh, here, let's get the bike. When I uh, went, went through the game uh, previously, I think for, oh, well, when I was doing Let's Go, I could not remember where to get the bike uh, voucher. It, you know, I went through most of the game, and I got to the point where I needed to do Cycling Road, and I was like, okay, what, how do I get this again? And I had to go look it up. I felt so stupid, and I was like, oh yeah, just, just go here to get it. Start leveling up Slowpoke. But yeah, so then, you know, you've got all the, the real animals, uh, and then, uh, what else is, uh, then there's, like, the kind of really weird creatures that you find, uh, Porygon and, uh, Magmar and stuff that, oh, you know, it's cool to have some of them, but I think if, if the entire game was nothing but weird animals that are, or weird Pokemon that are, in no way related to, like, any real creature. I think that would, you know, it'd make them less cool. Like, if, if every Pokémon is cool and interesting, then none of them are. Okay, not nearly strong enough yet for that. Uh... So yeah, like, the, there are the, the weird, kind of weird Pokémon that are like that. Uh, and then you've got like Farfetch'd, uh, Mr. Mime, Jinx, and so on, who in Gen 1 you only got through trading. So they were kind of like, okay, these are these like bizarre foreign Pokemon that you have to trade for, and it's like, okay, there's some weird foreign place out there that they've just got like Mr. Mimes and Jinxes running around or whatever. So like, yeah, they are a really weird design, and if you just look at them like on a poster or whatever, or you've got all the figures lined up or whatever, it's like, okay, these guys are weird and ugly, but uh, if you look at them in the game, it's like, 
Okay, it makes sense. They're kind of supposed to be weird. Like, they're... You know, that's where you find them, is, uh, you know, trading. And so it makes sense that they're like that. Uh, same with, like, Voltor. Like, yeah, it's, it's just a Pokeball, but it's a Mimic, like... <laughs> I should probably actually uh, level up Slowpoke a bit. But yeah, so like Voltor, he's a mimic. If he was. <sighs> Alright, there's a new. Uh, if, you know, if Voltor had just tons of, you know, speed lines and was 10 different colors and stuff like that, like a lot of the other newer Pokemon, uh, it wouldn't work as a mimic then. Like, if he wasn't lazily designed, then he wouldn't work as a mimic, so... You know, like, that's where you find him in the game, is he's pretending to be a Pokeball, and then it's not, it's a fight. You know, and then you've got, like, the kind of Pokemon based off of, like, the mythical, you know, the mythical birds and Mewtwo and stuff, who are just, you know, they're not even remotely related to anything kind of, uh, you know, any real animal. They're all just, you know, myth mythological things, which, you know, that makes them kind of more interesting when you actually do find them. If, if every Pokemon was some weird, uh, like, you know, yokai kind of thing, it wouldn't really be as cool when you finally found, uh, Uh, like Moltres in them. Renanet still hasn't learned any other attacks. I gotta go back and heal. Yeah, see, in this part it's cool too. I, I can go through, I could go to the, the SSN, uh, I could go through Diglett's cave. Uh, I can head out through here. Uh, I think I would get stopped by Snorlax eventually. But, like, I can go partway through here anyways. Uh, if this was, uh, you know, one of the newer games, I would probably not be able to leave the town. I wouldn't be able to go through Diglett's Cave or uh, uh, out here. Open Slowpoke would be able to get him. Yeah, and then you got like, you know, muck and uh, coughing and stuff. Like, they fit because, you, you know, that's when you find that uh, power plant or whatever uh, burnt uh, lab. So it's like, okay, you know, this is where there's these weird man made kind of disaster Pokemon. Uh, you know, they they fit the area. That can sort of karate chop this guy. Okay. Uh, I don't get why that wasn't very effective. I thought fighting types were super effective against rock. Unless it's normal type. What else is around here? Yoda,
Okay, Karate Chop is a normal type attack. I don't know if that was... If that's something to do with the randomizer, if it's like... If it changed that, or if it's... It was just normal type in Gen 1. that up after. Yeah, you might as well uh, do the poison sting. Still haven't managed to do the uh, leech seed wrap uh, combo. Yeah, I wonder what level Venonat starts to actually learn stuff. Like, I would have thought he would have learned uh, you know, poison spore or something by now. Probably an item around here somewhere. But, uh, I'm not gonna find it. A new arena for a Charizard. Alright, he says he'll give me an item finder. Uh, I'm guessing he will because that's, you know, kind of an important item. Another Moonstone, uh, I don't actually need that because uh, I'm not going to have any other Pokemon to evolve with it, so might as well use it. Yeah, I wonder if that will actually be a Snorlax. I could go through Diglett's cave right now, but uh, it would be handy to get cut first, so that I can, uh, you know, uh, explore the uh, other area around there. Uh, more metapods. Uh, of course, I remember the uh, ship or the truck that's over there. ship is probably going to take a little while because I want to go through each room to get uh, any items. Still hoping that there are going to be more uh, TMs. And I want to level up Slowpoke. Yeah, I do like Needle Queen and Needle King. They don't, they aren't that powerful though. They, uh, they don't seem to learn very many good moves, and uh, they can't learn that many good moves of their of their type uh, through TM. I guess like Earthquake is one of the only ones.
turn over again. What can I do? Yeah, I wish there was a uh, auto sort. Um, it's the super motion. Can I toss this? Okay, nobody can use smog. Uh, I might as well toss it then. I don't know if their evolutions might be able to use it or not, but... Uh... Alright, Needle Queen can bring this. Oh good, what's this? Stop. I don't... I just will replace Growl or Tackle or whatever. One of these was supposed to be uh, a bed that I could use to heal. Up here. That's where you normally get the uh, Super Ball, I think. over here. I think I'm gonna, you know, die. It's not, uh... yeah, Unless I'll find the bed soon. Yeah. I think I'll probably keep using uh, healing items. Might as well burn through them just because the inventory is so small. I'll have to throw them away otherwise. But Slowpoke is doing pretty good. Well, until now. He's done. I should probably just be sell- uh, I don't know. I don't know how much it would sell for. Good. 
to another TM. Uh, let's see what's in here. Toxic. Ekans. Uh, he's going for the whole uh, gimmick there. Place uh, bite. At that bed uh, later, I just swore there was a bed here that could uh, heal you. It must just be in the remakes and later gens, or it's long here somewhere. Well, that works on grass poison types. I probably shouldn't use Graveler on him. I should be getting to the uh, Celadon fairly soon, I think, so... Okay, so I went through here... fight and the captain up there. Uh, Doug Trio should not be nearly as difficult now as he was back in the beginning.
Uh, Mewtwo's still a bit of a bother, though. I wouldn't be surprised if there was an item uh, on the deck there somewhere, but uh, I'm not going to search for it. Alright, let's see what he's got now. Polyrath. I don't believe he had like a Poliwhirl or anything before. Yeah, it would be cool if it uh, kept him with kind of a running team, but... Uh, I think he's part fighting. Yep. Right. Yeah, that's the thing when I'm playing the newer games, like I have no idea what type anything is, and then there's like the fairy type and stuff that fairy and dark, which I have no idea what they're like weak against or resistant to, so uh I just it's a mess of always forgetting what to use on everyone. Sorry. Here's where, uh, as a kid, I always left uh, one trainer uh, so that I could go and uh, get defeated and then uh, leave the SSAN here so that I could come back and uh, surf around there to see the truck. Uh, so I gotta teach cut to someone, unfortunately. And the whole wasting the uh, slot on them is a bother too. Uh, I guess I'll teach it to Venonat because he doesn't know anything else anyways. Although the uh, the randomizer is making it so that uh, anybody can learn any HM. So it's not as much of a bother. Uh, so I think I gotta go through here. Uh, no. Uh, but I can see what Pokemon are in here anyway. It's Mankey Cave now. But uh, it'll be good for Slowpoke. Yeah, there should be one other Pokemon type in here. Yeah, that that's the uh Doug Trio replacement. Voltorb for a Pidgey. Oh uh, yeah, and you gotta go through here and do this. It's just so annoying. Uh, that was one thing that was nice, is that they finally got rid of them. Alright, I got Flash. I might as well... Jeez, my inventory is gonna be full with... Uh... 
just the uh, HMs and key items and stuff. And nuggets. And once I get to the end there, uh, it'll be useful. Or I mean to the, uh, the game center. I gotta have the, uh, it's surf I need to get down there. Uh, I don't know why I'm caring about, uh, what wild Pokemon I can get, though, because I already got my team, uh... Let's see, there is, uh, there's nothing... Ah, oh, there's this guy. I think he gives me a TM or something. Bite. Yeah, again, it's it's randomized, I think, because uh, I don't need that. Yeah, I, I would think that some of the other Pokemon could normally learn Bite. Uh, let's see if I can get up to uh, Pewter City. Uh, I think there's an item or something. Oh, uh, there's the other fossil I can get. gives it to some random kid. Uh, I wonder if there's an item in here somewhere. I'm still hoping for some uh, good PMs. No, there's nothing. Uh, let's see, that's gonna take us through to sell it on. I don't know if it would be faster just to go back and go through Diglett's cave, but uh, at least I should be able to run away from everybody. Someone other than Slowpoke can anyways. Oh, there's a Psyduck. That must be replacing like Onyx or something, because uh, I never saw one of them before. I was going through this. Oh, it's funny, I think in Let's Go you can get wild uh, Bulbasaurs and Charmanders and stuff around here. will take us to uh, I forget where this will take us. Now one thing I do like about having the completely randomized uh, Pokemon is that it gives you a larger variety of types, so uh, 
you don't run into like 20 mountain climbers in a row and then have your you know all your grass types uh, or you know all your grass types and water types end up just destroying everyone and your flying types get kind of stuck behind uh, with you know the variety of types uh, you can switch around more and kind of level up everybody uh, fairly equally uh, but that's still useless I want to keep that though, I just, I don't know, in case I do run into like a... Yeah, I don't know, like if I, if I run into a wild view too or something, I'm catching it. Uh, sure. I don't even remember what that does, I think it's just special attack boost or something. would actually be a fun run through, do like a, I don't know, a legendary only run of like, uh, I don't know, Heart Gold or something where, I guess you, a game where there are more legendaries, but just have a whole team of them. I may even switch Venonat out, he's... This is probably the reason why I've never bothered using one before, he's just, uh, kinda sucks. Slowpoke is just so bad at running away. Yeah, I think I might have it set to not spawn uh, legendaries randomly. Uh, so I don't think I'm going to run into any of them actually, but uh, I think the legendaries will still be where they are, or they might be swapped between them, like Mewtwo might be where Moltres is or something. Can he still cut? Oh, good. I guess next will be the uh, Dark Cave, heading to Lavender Town. Oh, I didn't see what he was sending out there. Okay. Snorlax is the perfect Pokemon to take out with that strategy. Alright. Did 
in the effect. Hmm. I guess ground types can't be poisoned as well. Or is he he's not part poison? I don't know. Yeah, I'm kinda disappointed with Dodrio's moveset. Like at least he peck is useful because it's a flying type attack, but uh I am kinda disappointed that he hasn't learned any other good moves yet. I wonder if it's because he's not supposed to, like, even be a Dodrio yet, so he has no move pool. Like, he should still be a Doduo. Yeah, and I think Doduo evolves in like his mid-30s or something, so it may be a little while before he starts actually learning attacks. Fishes metapods everywhere. Uh, I should be able to deposit some stuff, anyways. Uh, I don't need that. Uh, I don't need to be keeping the HMs with me. The old rod's kind of pointless. Uh, depositing all these HMs and stuff makes me think that uh, some YouTuber he has like a, a soft locking Pokemon. Thing where he finds it like you know how, how can you make the game unwinnable like you go to a certain place and uh, get rid of all your Pokemon and all your items and stuff and then the game becomes unwinnable I'll deposit the nuggets because uh, I can always withdraw them later all right I think that's it I guess I could deposit the bicycle, because I'm not going to be using it, because it's easier just to fast forward. But uh, then I'll have to withdraw it when I want to go on the uh, cycling road. Abra. Huh, you can still... Really, I don't remember it being this easy to see. I don't know if it's something with the emulators using a different palette or something. Uh, well, I guess because it's using the Game Boy Color, so it's a bit easier to see, but... Uh, for some reason I thought it was like completely dark. If it wasn't such a bother, I would make like a, a Pokemon Red and Blue hack where it the whole world was just changed so that you didn't need to use HMs. Uh, 
like I said, I would have some enemy replace the trees. Uh, you know, similar to like Snorlax or whatever, that you fight them and then once you defeat them, they're moved out of the way. Uh, for Surf, I mean, well, Surf is kind of okay because it's a useful attack. And I always teach like every water type it anyways, and anyone who can. Like, I think I'll teach Needle Queen Surf. I, I believe she can learn it eventually. Uh,. But yeah, you could also just, you could have like a land route, uh, added. So that you didn't have to, uh, surf. Uh, and then, you know, flash, this place would just be lit up, there would be no, no darkness. Uh, strength, uh... I would just make that cave normal. I, I hate that whole uh, pushing rocks puzzle thing. Probably when I get to that point, I'm just gonna like put on a uh, find a, a walkthrough and just figure out how to just go through it because I I absolutely hate that part. The whole finding where to push the things while you're getting randomly attacked is it's just such a bother. Are there strength cut, uh, surf, flash, uh, fly is optional, anyways? Yeah, so I guess that would be it. That's all you'd have to do. If I knew more about uh, Pokemon hacking, and uh, I would do it myself. Uh, but I'm I'm really surprised there's no nobody's done that already because like that's you know every Pokemon. Uh, run thing where, you know, a, a level one run or a, a one Pokemon only, you know, Metapod only or whatever. Uh, every single one of them has like a, oh, and, you know, you gotta catch this Pokemon to use as an HM slave. Like it's, you know, everybody complains about HMs. Uh, it's just such like an overbearing part of the series that I'm really surprised nobody, like, that isn't the first thing everybody makes for, like, a new uh, Pokemon game uh, as, like, an HM removing thing. Yeah, see, now it's working well. Our box a bit tankier, I guess. Didn't affect so it doesn't affect fire types? I don't know, I'm gonna look that up sometime. I have no idea why uh, Toxic is just not affecting randomly. Uh, unless that's just like, it sometimes doesn't affect them. It has, it's not like an always, uh, okay. I, I don't know, I'll look that up after. Taking care of him. Abra, Venonat can do him. I don't think he'll uh, have any attacks. sick of the random encounters, because I want to try and uh, search through all of your
Uh, but I don't want to just be constantly hit by random encounters. Oh no, I think I might have eaten. Yeah, I might have reached seeds. Almost finished. Yeah, nothing you can do to him. Rabbler, uh, Garbot, can maybe do. Okay. So many Articunos. I wonder why that is. Like I don't I think I've seen like one Maltrez and one Zapdos. This is like the tenth Articuno. Oh I guess we're done for. So it says I've played for 14 hours, uh, that's the fast forwarding, I think I'm only 3 or 4 hours in now, but uh, anyways I guess that's going to be enough for today, I'll go through there tomorrow. <laughs>